Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this video in the uh, Excel series and in this video we'll be looking at how do we perform an other test analysis of variances test in Excel and we're going to look at the three different types of ANOVA. We're going to start with the one-way ANOVA or the one-factor ANOVA and here we have three treatments uh, done on uh, three different groups or samples. Uh, we have the control group, the moral appeal group, and the legal sanctions group. So regardless of the problem and what are these represent and whether what's the null and alternative hypothesis, my focus in this video is how to perform the ANOVA test in Excel and get the result for your hypothesis test. So, first thing is, we're going to go to the data ribbon and click on the data analysis to get the data analysis tool pack. And for those who don't have this and don't know how to get it, look for the video uh, that states uh, installing or adding the data analysis tool pack to Excel. So, you will see that on the top of the data analysis that we used in other videos, we have the ANOVA single factor or the one way ANOVA. We have the two factor with replication and the two factor without replication. And we're going to discuss what each one of this is in the next couple of examples. So, this is the first one, which is the one way factor or the single factor ANOVA. We're going to click on OK. And it's as simple as selecting your input range make sure you select everything i selected the labels so make sure you check this one over here how your data are grouped obviously by column not by rows and specify the level of significance whether it's one percent or five percent specify the output range where do you want the output let's put it over here and that's all what we're looking for. Once you click OK, you will see that Excel does everything for me. It tells me the count, the sum, the average, and the variance of each group. And this is what we're interested in. This is the between, sum of square between, the sum of squares within, and the total, the degree of freedom, the mean square between, and the mean square within. And of course, this is the F test, the test statistics, which is the mean square between divided by the mean square within. It also gives us the p value if we want to compare it to alpha. And it does give us the critical value based on Excel calculation. But of course, I would recommend that you use the table provided by the textbook you're using or your instructor to find the actual critical value, which might be a little bit different than this critical value. So selecting this will just give you everything you need. Compare the F, which is obviously to the right of the critical value, which means project the null hypothesis. So that's the first part of ANOVA and Excel. So the second method or the second ANOVA test is the one for repeated measure. Repeated measure is when we're using the same treatment on the same sample. So we're selecting the same sample, the same subject, the same individual, and we're applying the treatment on those individual. In Excel, to do that, it's called the two-factor without replication. So we're going to go to data analysis and we're going to choose the ANOVA two-factor without replication. We're going to click on OK and we're going to get exactly the same window as before. We're going to select our range Make sure the labels are selected, 0 0.05, or you can change it to whatever level of significance you want. Specify the output and just click OK. 
And here you can see that it does give me the summary for each individual, the count, the sum, and some text where it's called the P, the total for the participant, average, variance, and then for the different brands. And of course, what we are interested in is the ANOVA table. And you can see that the ANOVA table here is a little bit different than the first example because it's not just the SS between and the SS within or the between and within. It's the between, within, and the error. And we have the total as well. So we have the rows, the columns, the treatment, the within treatment, between, and the error. But it's the same idea. We have the F test statistics, we have the mean square between, the mean square within, and the mean square of the error. And we have the critical value and the p-value as well. So for the repeated measure test, we're going to be using the ANOVA two-factor without replication. Our last example will be for the two-factor ANOVA, where we have two different criteria to choose from. So we have the treatment, which is the cash option, vacation, or shopping, for example, and then we have the other factor, which is the age group. In Excel, to do this, whenever you have the two-factor ANOVA, we have to use the two-factor with replication. With replication because these are repeated. For this factor, we have four for each factor, for different values. Okay, so we're going to go to data analysis and we're going to choose the second option here, ANOVA two-factor with replication. Now, once I click OK, this is going to be a little bit different. It still has the input range, which means I have to select all of this. It still has the alpha 0 0.05 and I have to select the output range but the other thing that it has which the other two didn't have is the rows per sample so per each block here how many rows do I have and that is four for the under 25 years I have four for 25 to 40 years I have four and so on. So I have to specify the blocks for each factor and the second factor. Once I do that and I click OK and it's going to give me first the summary for each block, each factor, the under 25, average, variance, etc the average for the cash option, vacation and shopping, and of course total, and 25 to 40, 41 to 60, over 61, and of course the grand total. And as you can see, we have the ANOVA table, which has the sample, the column, the interaction between groups, the within and the total. And it has all the calculation that you have to do, the sum of square for the between, the within, the interaction, mean square, F value, P value, and of course, the critical value. So this is for the two-factor ANOVA. Now we can easily take the averages here from each factor, and we can draw the graph, the linear graph, to see the interaction between the means and whether they are interacting or not. So doing a simple line graph, multiple line graph, it gives me the interaction between the means and you can see that how the means are interacting or not. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and look for other videos on uh, statistics for using SPSS or using Excel.